All right, hey Sagittarius. So I am I'm, uh, on a little intermission from the Torn Between Two read just because I wanted to do a, a moon reading for you guys. All right, and this is a ghosted read. Okay, so um, you're going to know this is your read by your energy when you met the person, the circumstances under which you guys met and where you thought it was going. So if that doesn't resonate, check your moon rising and Venus placements. All right. And if you're new, welcome to the channel, you guys. I hope you stick around and subscribe. Um, so we have have faith in your dreams um, with the waxing crescent moon. So it could be that the person that's on your mind, you actually seen some 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 going pretty big places with this person um also too you could just have a lot of other things going on and uh your angels are telling you right now to have faith in your dreams right now at this time so the energy you were in when you met this person um we have we have two very very sudden changes okay so when you met this person you're, the energy you were in I feel like you're just coming out of a tower moment. All right. The tower card, um, that's a depiction of, you know, sudden chaos, sudden um, negative uh, changes that you didn't see coming. All right. But because it's in reverse, um, I do feel like you're coming out of that negative type of energy. And when you meet this person, um, the Wheel of Fortune um, depicts, wow, okay, this is unexpected. It, it's an unexpected positive change. Um, for you and with the two of cups coming through um, I feel like that that's generating a very very strong energy um, that's a strong uh, a pull to this person right so um, I don't feel like you actually come into the wheel of fortune and the two of cups energy until you meet this person okay so let's just see what the circumstances uh, what, what were the circumstances when Sagittarius met this person so the circumstances we have three, 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 three. All right. So we have the three of cups, um, which I'm honestly picking up some pretty large hints of a, a third party dynamic. Um, it could be too that uh, you were just coming out of a long-term relationship or they were not. I'm sorry. That's you. I, I feel like that's you. I feel like you're coming out of something. Um, you're, you're coming out of something that happened with that three of cups and the three of coins um the emperor card coming through i feel like maybe you were tied to somebody that you you felt was supposed to be there um as the form of the emperor so the circumstances when you meet this person um, maybe you thought you'd met your soulmate but you didn't okay um and it's almost like the circumstances i i just can't get over it man i feel like you were put in a position of a third party um, I feel like you were put in that position. I don't feel like you created a third party. I feel like you were put in that dynamic. Okay. Cause we have these threes. We have the emperor, which I feel is the emperor card coming through. I feel like that's a depiction of thinking that you already met your soulmate. You thought they were the one. Um, but I feel like you, you were shown that they weren't. Okay. Um, so when you meet this person though, the new person with the wheel of fortune and the two of cups, that's a depiction of, um, fate and, um, also soulmate energy. And also too, when you meet this person, there's like, there's a, a, a feeling of success and forward movement with the three of coins and with the three of cups, there's a feeling of unity. And with the emperor card, it's like, maybe I didn't meet the one I was supposed to be with. And that happened for a reason, because now we got this person coming through with that emperor. So where did you think this was going? So we have the seven of coins and the queen of cups and the strength card. So for where you thought this was going, um, I, I, I almost kind of feel like, all right. So if you had just gone through something that, that kind of diminished, um, some of your self-confidence or your self-esteem with that strength card coming through, um, it's not that this person came through as a form to make you stronger or to pull you out of your funk. Um, but I almost feel like you, you were actually, um, gaining, gaining ground, um, for what you have endured. All right. When it came to this person and I feel like you, you, with their energy coming through, um, this is like seeing things come to fruition. It's like a form of manifestation. So like, uh, after all the crap that you've been through, this person comes through as a healing energy for you. And you could actually see pouring a bunch of, um, a love out and, uh, giving your compassion and, re-energizing um 
yourself and and this person all right with what you feel um you you actually have have love you had love you have love to give to this person and that's where uh, maybe you thought it was over um you know like I'm, I'm i'm done i'm tired i'm not doing this anymore with with anybody this person shows up and it's like okay i'll, I'll do it one more time and then boom it's like they, they're they're gone so the per this person that we're talking about, um, we're going to pull their current energy to see how they are currently feeling. So for Sagittarius, this person's current energy, we have the death card. Um, the death card is coming through in reverse. So this person is, yeah, they've been through something. They have been through something just as well. And that they're, that's kind of why I went through back to that tower moment. And I'm like, well, that is your energy. But I, I was kind of feeling it on this person too. This person's also gone through something pretty um, transformational to their energy. So with the death card coming through in reverse, um, this is telling me that this person's, they're, they're afraid of a new beginning. Okay. Cause that's what the death card means when it comes in reverse. This is about being afraid to transform, being afraid to put your heart on the line. Um, because, um, you know, what has happened in the past. All right. I almost feel like this person is thinking, you know, I've already given my love, my support, my, um, my good nature to somebody and they've, they've ruined it. So I have to have my guard up. The four of coins is all about that blockage, that heart space blockage. So, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Do some of you guys play red dead, red dead Two, red, red dead redemption. Um, I, I'm super like into that game and I'm not like, I d just as a little side note, I don't know why this image of Red Dead uh, Redemption comes into my head. Red Dead 2, <laughs> um, for, so, so some of you guys, it, it, that might be just a side note for you to pay attention to this read, especially if you are into video games, um, because I, I've, I, I don't know. Um, and I know that it's the depiction of the picture, um, but typically when I've used this deck, I've never actually made that reference until just now. So it's like, I would rather be alone in the woods. Um, you know, um, shit, just doing my own thing. Um, then, then take on this again, you know, cause I've already given it my all. This person's very, very guarded. They're afraid to start something new. So let's just see why is it, why did this person ghost? So we have the four of wands, the depiction of marriage. Okay. So why did this person ghost? They, they don't know what to do. The two of wands um, coming in reverse tells me that th this person is really stuck in ego right now. Um, it's almost like uh, all, all's, all's well and that all's well that ends well. Like, nah, you know, I'm done. Like and this person truly doesn't know where to go. The full card actually shows up in reverse, which is another depiction of, um, I'm being a fool. And I feel like this is their energy on themselves. Like I I'm just, I'm being foolish. If it didn't work out the last time, why would it work out this time? So they're, they're super scared. And the four of wands is a depiction of that twin flame energy. This is a deep connection. And the four of wands also says to you guys, as a side note, that this is being guided by angels, regardless of how you feel or what you think. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter how long you've known this person. It does not matter. All right. This person is afraid of the marriage, the aspect of e eternal commitment, and they feel just as strong as an, as of an energetic pull as you do. All right. So what you need to know about this person. So what you need to know about them, aside from what we know is okay. They're coming back. Judgment, justice, this person. Um, they're going to regain their ground with that King of Cups energy. Okay. Um, I do feel like what your angels and spirit guides are saying is that, that this person has been through a lot, but is you, if you decide to have patience with this connection, um, that's going to be, it's going to bring good karma points to you. All right. But also know that this person is, they're just, they're working through some shit, man. Judgment card right here is the angels of the past. They're coming back. Okay. And when they come back, they are going to embody this King of Cups energy, Queen of Cups energy, the love and the support and the nurture that you need. But um, with, when, with the King of Coins coming through, 
on on that other drop um what i feel is happening with this person is they've had they had the the house they had the finances and the stability and they lost it and when they lost that they lost their emotional support and love and guidance and their nurture so just know that this this person they they it's going to come back okay it's coming back to them and that's what your angels and your spirit guides are telling you right now so how does this person feel about you How do they feel? How do they feel? Look at that. The world card just, it comes right through. I'm going to tell you this, this, you're going to be like, you're going to be the last person that this person mishandles or, or thinks that they mishandle. Like I'm not going to, um, uh, miscalculate my feelings ever again. All right. With that two of coins coming in reverse, it's almost like kind of like they were going back and forth and being wishy, wishy washy. Um, the moon card says, I'm not telling you that I'm being wishy-washy. I'm going to keep it a secret. And instead, I'm just going to kind of duck out and hope that you don't notice. But ultimately, the world card coming through, that that's how they look at you. Look at your, this energy, uh, male or female, it doesn't matter. You're sitting on top of the world. This person has you in a very high regard. And ultimately, they do feel like they've missed an opportunity here. All right. They've, they, is it gone? Is it over with? And it could be too how you are responding. Like some of you guys, I almost feel like this person could have come back around or tried to and you have them blocked because you got pissed off and you're like, nah, screw that. You don't treat me like that. Um, but this person, they're, 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 they're come they're coming into their head now. So what is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius on this read? So this is, um, it, it's just know that, <clears throat> all right. So for those of you, you guys have waited for something like this to come around for, for quite some time. They have, you have, okay. But just know that when the three of wands comes through, that's, that's a, a depiction of this, the ships coming in with a win. Okay. And look at, if you just see this kind of guy, he's like, if you ain't coming to me, I'm going to pull you to me. Okay. Um, we have the five of swords, which, um, is it's, it's also, it's, uh, it's mental conflict. It's mental war. It's mental games. It's mind games. It's mind fuckery. Okay. But the five of swords also talks about, um, reconciliation and reunion, waving the white flag and surrender. So I feel like what your angels are saying is this person is going to come through. All right. But, um, ultimately when people ghost you, you're going to be the one that has that, uh, say so. And if in, any of you thought that there was a spiritual hint, um, to this, connection i feel like the hierophant there is confirming it so just know that your angels and spirit guides um you know they are they are guiding this all right and with the hierophant card coming through too i feel like some of you guys have actually awakened um this person in a spiritual manner and should you choose to bring it back around the ace of coins is that depiction of a new solid uh, form of commitment so there ain't no more uh, flaky um, in and out type of energy so Let's just see what chakra love card you got coming through. All right, so um, some side notes here. We have peace um, with the crown chakra. In stillness, the answer will be revealed, um, especially for those of you um, thinking this is a spiritual situation. And we have the harmony makes the song of life sweeter green jasper turquoise and labradorite so some of you guys could be um wanting to know what uh, uh crystals to uh, focus with right um what crystals to balance with and um what is this um the chakra balance uh for harmony i mean i feel like that's a depiction of the root chakra for grounding but it doesn't have to be Okay, um, but somebody out there needs um, to bring some harmony or joy into their, their, their well-being. So I'm just going to pull um, possible outcomes for each, for each um, sign. And there's no major arcana. We're just going with the, the lower deck, the lower 50s. All right, so Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a Taurus, we have the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Clubs coming through. Um, so the Seven of, of Clubs is, um, it, it, it's 
I'm holding that uh, energy in a very, very high regard. Okay, so um, I do feel ultimately this has the opportunity to work out. Um, and then this person also kind of seeing you for your value, for your worth. All right. So they're, they're going to take recognition of that if you're dealing with a Taurus and they're going to know that you're the only one for them. If you're dealing with an Aries, we have the eight of coins. The eight of coins is the depiction of being able to work on things together. So this is highly favorable for you. Eight of coins is about work and working through it, working through our problems and working um, towards a solution. Um, even if it's like, all right, we're, we're going to set it and forget it, or we're going to agree to disagree. Um, you're going to figure it out between each other. So there will be closure is what I'm saying. If you're dealing with a Pisces, we have the six of swords coming through. All right. And the six of spades, the six of swords is a depiction of coming out of muddy water. It's coming out of that rough water into the clear, calm water. So this is um, going to be favorable. All right. For you, if you are dealing with Pisces. If you're dealing with a Gemini, we have the seven of swords, the seven of cups, sorry. So with this um, Pisces energy right here, it could be that Pisces actually has more than one person um, on hand. It could be that you have more than one person on hand and you decide to go with another option or another opportunity. All right. It could be too that this is, uh, it, it has a lot of opportunities to unfold if you decide to go back with this person, but I feel like that's going to be on your decision. Okay. With Gemini, we have the King of Cups energy coming through. So a lot of love coming through on this one. So somebody truly coming through and saying, I'm going to correct the mistake that I made. All right. And with Virgo, we have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of uh, Spades, the Eight of Swords coming through. So some of you guys are going to be so blocked um, by what happened. All right. It's, it's more of being blocked. What am I doing here? We, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. I don't know where I'm at, guys. This was this is Aquarius, right? Yeah. Okay, this was supposed to be Aquarius. I don't know if I said that or not. Sorry. Um, I get on a trance on these reads. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, the Eight of Swords is a depiction of, of blockages. So it could be that you were blocked or bound by what they said, what they did, or how it happened. Um, that they just left, that you're not um, willing to accept it. Um, two, it could just be that this person is not ready to let go of whatever it is that happened to them. All right. Um, in order to move forward. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, we have the Two of Swords and actually after some time i do feel like that is that unveiling um seeing the connection for what it is but i do feel like that's going to take some time it's going to be like after the fact after the fact i almost feel like you you could actually be talking to somebody new that this person actually wakes up wakes up and realizes oh shit what what did i have here if you're dealing with a scorpio we have the six of wands the six of wands energy depicts that victory that success that forward movement so if you're dealing with scorpio it looks favorable and if you're dealing with a Libra, we have the five of cups. So this is a depiction of, of um, somebody who is too torn up about the past. And it could be your energy. It could be their energy. Take that how it resonates. Like you could just be truly, truly like, no, you don't actually mess with my energy like that. So I'm not going to accept you back right now. Okay. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, people shouldn't play with your energy. And the five of cups is all about like, no, I, I'm, I'm done with people doing that. Right. If you're dealing with a cancer, <coughs> excuse me, the five of coins, um, that's going to represent the feeling of abandonment. So I, I feel like if you're dealing with um, a Leo, you're like, no, uh, you don't, you absolutely don't F with me like that. So um, that that's, I feel like this is coming through on your energy and possibly to just kind of keep in mind that that potential has um, that ability to happen to you again. Um, because this person, um, they, they could be just, they could go in and out, you know, and if you don't, if you don't want it to happen again, just, I'm going to tell you this, if you're dealing with, um, a Leo, just use your intuition. All right. Because if they're kind of feeling flaky, you don't want them back with a, the cancer. Um, we have the 10 of wands coming through and, and I'm going to keep it in reverse because I do <laughs> look at that. What does it say? It says, bitch. 
Wow, I, I never even noticed that. But the Ten of Wands is all about um, carrying too much weight and carrying too much burdens. But because it comes through in reverse, I feel like some of you guys actually might be able to move past it with this person. You might um, you might be able to, to move past it and move forward with it. Some of you guys are going to be like, nah, you're a bitch, so uh, we're done. I, I feel like there, there too, there's a reason why I called that out. That's probably what some of you guys had to endure. And then um, with the Two of wands coming through on um sagittarius so if you're dealing with another sagittarius i feel like it's going to be your choice um you're going to make the decision on whether to go left or right what path you're going to choose one's going to one's going to take you down a, a path of, of light the other one um is is not going to take you down that path of light but i feel like ultimately your intuition is going to guide you on what path you should be taking with this person all right so I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. Um, I, I hope that you were able to get something out of this, truly. And again, um, Thursday, Friday, I will have the reads out for the Torn Between Two. All right, so keep your eyes popped open for those. And I love you guys so, so much.